I love that my lips look like a disco ball. Hello and welcome back. My name is Amy Ecker and I am using the Lilia palette tonight. Come for the review, stay for the tutorial. So today I use the Lolita palette for the first time. This is the look I'm going out with for New Year's Eve. I used a couple colors. Maybe if I turned it the right way, I'd be able to read it. I used Permesa all over the lid. I used Hermosura on all my lid up to the crease. I grabbed some Eterno for the edge of the eye and some Corazon to kind of blend over the top of that. So this will be the first look that I use from this palette. I'm going to do a second look and that is because I bought the Lolita lip to go with it. So I will do a, another video on the Lolita collection because I, I just really want to do that. I love these colors and I didn't use all the colors. I normally use all the colors, but this time I do want to, to do a different look. So what do I think about Lolita? Love me. Some Lolita. That's right, I do. I just like Kat's shadows. They blend really well. They're pigmented. They actually make, as far as the blending goes or how well they blend together, it looks like I know what I'm doing. And I really don't. I just fake it. So all of these colors are fantastic. They all blend very well together. For the most part, is a cool tone. And I do like cool tones, although I don't. Like when I look at a palette, I normally don't gravitate to cool tones first, but then when I get them and I use them, I love them. Love, love, love them. And so this palette is no different. When I saw this palette, I was like, ooh, we got some cool tones. You're going to dig it. You're going to need it. So I was watching it for a while, and then I was hoping with the Christmas sales, I'd see it on sale. The after Christmas sales, and the dang thing never went on sale. So I just finally said, forget it. I've got it. I want it. I, I love those colors. My husband loves purples. It's just got to come home with me at full price. So it came home with me at full price. Would I purchase this palette again? Absolutely. Would totally repurchase this Lolita palette. In fact, besides the shade and light palette, this is my second favorite or this might be my favorite over the shade and light so i would say out of all of cat's palettes and if you look through my videos you see that i have a lot of cat reviews this one in the shade and light is a definite must-have definite must-have the other ones i think are kind of hit and miss depending on if you what you like as far as the colors but this one So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this review on the Lolita palette. It is cute. It is sleek. It is the colors, again, are amazing. Yeah. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I can't wait to actually use the color Lolita in the next look I do, but absolutely fantabulous. Love, love, love it. Love it. And then some to the moon and back. Amen. Forward slash. You need this palette. Okay, so here we go. We're going to get okay, the review. I kind of mapped out my eyebrows and my lids. Although, having a hooded lid, I look like I've got, if I could do this, I look like I've got a lightning bolt. The joys of hooded lids. I purchased Kat Von D's Lolita palette. I thought that was beautiful, so we're going to jump on in. And I'm glad I mapped out my wings because this one was a nightmare. I just kind of wanted them to map out and then I can get them darker or fix them as I go. I just have a hard time. Just a hard time. These colors are gorgeous. I started out with Promesa all over the lid. We're going to grab into Hermosura. Sure I'm butchering these. Ooh. I also think I'm going to put this on the lid. All right, I'm gonna pick up Besties on the other side of that brush for the inner corner and kind of sweeping over 
that last color. These are just great colors to overlap. I think I'm going to grab some Eterno. Taking the color Corazon. And I'm going to take some Eterno. I'm using the Sephora Outrageous Intense Waterproof Gel Eyeliner on a teeny tiny little brush. All right, I'm gonna curl the eyelashes. Put on the first coat of mascara. And of course, I get it on my eyeshadow. We can't have a makeup look without that. All right, we're going to use the Ardell Wispies 113 because they're long and wispy. Wow, I think I hit it at the right time. Oh, Natasha Denona, never mind. We're in Natasha tonight. So I need a good foundation to last for New Year's. And my face is red, and that's because I have used a, earlier I used kind of a acid type treatment to pull off the dead skin. And oh my God, my skin feels amazing. All right, we're gonna squirt some of this on here. Taking some Tarte Shape Tape. And I think I'm gonna use the brush. Oh man, I put way too much on. I think when I start wearing the drugstore concealers, I forget how little you have to use of Tarte Shape Tape. And yeah, I just kinda went a little crazy. And I think it's harder for me when I do things different instead of my normal order. So to powder that up, I'm going to take some Hoola Light. Oh my God, I almost forgot that stripe. Could you imagine going out in public with that stripe on? That's something I totally would do. I like to smile sometimes and get it right underneath my chubby little cheek. I don't know that any of the Kat Von D will look right. Maybe this orange, if it doesn't come out too orange. Wish me luck. The color is called Salem. Ooh. The eyelashes are dried, so we're going to take another coat of mascara and kind of push my eyelashes into the false ones with the mascara to give an extra binder. So if the glue gives up, hopefully the mascara binding the two will work. All right, we're gonna use the glitter lip kit. Can't remember if I've released the video on these. If not, it's coming to my YouTube channel sometime soon. Since it's New Year's Eve, it's gonna be extra, which I was gonna have a very extra eye. And then I decided an extra lip would be better. So I have the bonder on. We're gonna let that dry down a little bit. Now I have to talk like this because I can't get a list together or the stick. <laughs> All right, I got the little felt tip applicator wet. Ah, and we're gonna take this sparkly goodness on our wet applicator. So now we have a very extra New Year's Eve. I love that my lips look like a disco ball. Get down, baby. Get down. Oh, it's get down on it. Get down on it. I'm going to have to sing that song all night with my disco ball lips. Now to the hair. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave your comments, questions, thoughts below. I'd love to interact. I hope you have a great one. Until next time.